Hi everyone, today I'm starting off a video series about Catalog in Power Platform. Ever since I worked with the Power Platform, customers ask me about why there is no company app store for Power Platform. I was not able to give them a good answer until now. Catalog in Power Platform offers the functionality where you can submit solutions and packages to a catalog. After an approval by admins, these solutions and packages can be installed in other environments, which makes reusability a lot easier. In this video series, I will show you how to install the catalog, how to configure the catalog, and how to administer the catalog. This video will focus on the first, so let's go to my desktop and show you how you can install the catalog. Okay, so here we are on my desktop and I opened up the learn page for catalog in Power Platform. As you can see, it's still in preview, so make sure to be aware of that. There's a bit of a description here about why catalog for Power Platform is there. It shows about the components that you can have inside of the catalog. So you can have custom connectors, Power Apps component framework controls, Power Automate flows, Canvas apps, model-driven apps. You can also have some templates, for instance. So uh, if you want to have a starting point for components, you can also deploy that to the catalog, etc. There's a little important part here. And again, this is a preview feature. Uh, you always have to be aware that they aren't meant for production use yet. So whenever they are general available, you can use them. But for now, they are in preview and it's not recommended to use them in production use. Another thing I wanted to highlight is that um, it's not required for preview, but when this feature is general available, it'll require the use of managed environments. So you need to have premium licensing for this feature. If we scroll down, you can see the catalog process. And here you can see that you can start with creating your components and your templates so you can create a solution or you can create a package and when you have done that and you want to submit that to the catalog you can submit it and then after approval um, you can make it available for uh, people to install that into their environment then you have the discover part and that's basically where people can list which uh, solutions and packages are available in the catalog and then of course you can acquire it so when you found a solution or a package that you want to install you can do that okay let's go to the next step i am already in the power platform admin center and i selected my environment that i'm going to use for this video called catalog so there are multiple ways you can install this you can go to resources dynamics 365 apps you can hit the install app button and then you can see here that there is a catalog in Power Platform Manager. I can select that, hit next, uh, next finish and then I have installed the catalog in Power Platform Manager. But sometimes you also want to do this from the command line and I'm going to show you that as well. So let's open up my terminal and let's use the pack and who command because I always do that before I do something that's pretty disruptive to the environment. Uh, so installing the catalog can be a pretty big uh, job. So in this case, I want to make sure that I'm in the right environment and then I'm connected with the right account. And in this case, that's the case. So what we have here is also we have an application command group and I can use the application list command. So pack application list command to see which applications are available in that tenant. So as you can see, there are a whole lot of different, um, different apps available for me. Uh, there is also, for instance, the creator kit. I don't know where that actually is, but... There should be a creator kit around here somewhere. The Power Platform Pipelines is in there as well as a, as a solution. And there's multiple, multiple things you can install as an application here. 
Um, we are going to look... Oh, here's the creator kit, by the way. Um, but we are going to look for the catalog in Power Platform Manager. And that's this unique name. And I'm going to copy that. So when I want to install that, I need to use the pack application install command. And I'm going to use the help command here because I need to know what I will pass into this command. I can see that I need the environment and I need the application name. So the unique name of the application, we need to have that in there. And um, environment can be used to install it on a different environment. I think that I can install it with only the application name. So let's try that. And let's do that. Application name. And I already copied the name. So let's add that in there as well. And if all goes well, it should start installing it. And that's the case. And it should pull every 30 seconds until it's finished. So I am not going to wait for that. I'm just going to skip ahead in the video until this one is done. So let's uh, wait a little bit and I'll come back when it's installed. Okay, so the application has been installed. So let's move to the Power Apps portal. And here we are in the Power Apps portal. Let's refresh the page so that we see the latest stuff that has been installed. I can go to solutions here and the filter is on unmanaged, but when I click on managed, I can see a bunch more solutions in there. And we can see that Power Platform Catalog Manager has been installed. And that's the solution that we installed with installing the application. And as you can see, there are a bunch of web resources here, tables, choices, custom APIs, etc. There's a whole bunch of things in this solution. But for now, we are just going back to the homepage because I want to show you the Power Platform Catalog Manager. So when I hit play, it will open up the app that just got installed. And here we can see a whole bunch of things. We can see a dashboard with all kinds of relevant information. Although there is no data available right now because we just installed the catalog. But this will be really helpful when you already uh, have a catalog and a lot of things have been happening with that catalog. There's activities, which is also really important when there has been a lot of activity in your catalog. We have approval requests. We have field pre-validation. There are a bunch of things like catalog publishers, catalog items, contacts, package assets, install history is also in there. And we even have a way to change the area here. And then we can go to settings to see even more. So here we can change the name of the catalog. We can change the description, add a help link maybe to a a SharePoint site that you already have. You can add an image even. There are some configuration that you can do here with catalog settings, but also with rule sets for Power Apps Checker, static analysis policies, and configurations for the Power Apps Checker. But this is it for this video. So let me wrap up the video. With that, this is the end of the video. In the next video, I will show you how to configure the catalog. So make sure to stay tuned. See you soon.